Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. So welcome back to Climb to Master series, the series that I play on my main account and try to climb to master. And from last episode to this episode, I have climbed a little bit, uh, as you'll probably notice above, and we're actually now in promotion series. Um, it's because, you know, again, this series, it's not me recording every single game. It's me doing a video a day in this series, and you can kind of see um, where I get. Excuse me, I've got hiccups apparently. Um, but then whenever I get to a promotion series, that's when 100% I'll always do every single promo game. Uh, but last night I got a bit carried away, or yesterday I got a bit carried away. It was my day off uh, recording, um, and I just went mental. I played like six games of ranked. It felt really good. I won, I think, five and lost one or something like that. It was great. And we're now in promo, and we're most likely in promo to Diamond 4. Uh, there is a very slim chance we'll get to Diamond 3, because it's, skipping divisions can happen, uh, but it's it's unlikely to be happening now. Um, so the beginning of the season, the first couple weeks, there is what you can call riding the MMR wave, because it gets... In the early season, the MMR is very much inflated, so you can just kind of go crazy high in MMR. You gain 35 LP per victory. And unfortunately, I didn't start playing this on the, my main account right at the beginning of the season because of my eyes and then I actually went on vacation around Christmas time so yeah right what am I gonna play um I'm top lane I don't know who I'm against I really don't want to do another poppy episode though to even for me two games in a row is a little bit too much I think I'm just gonna do a Renekton uh yeah we're gonna do Renekton um so I know some people say, oh, I thought you did say climbing series, Poppy's really good. Yeah, she is. But me as a personal player, I can't play the same champions all the time, every single time. Uh, I just don't have it in me. I, I would get crazy bored. And the problem, whenever I have done that, and trust me, I have. I've played like a, a champion five times in a row. I will drop that champion from my champion pool because I get too bored with it. I'm like, well, that's me done with that champion now. Okay, Kled. What's that matchup like? Let's look at the win rate. Again, some people say, I thought you were going to stop looking at champion.gg. The only thing I really look at nowadays is the win rates because I still find them fascinating. And the Kled to Renekton win rate is 50-50. Literally, like dead 50-50. That's crazy. Uh, the question is, though, am I going to do my Ignite? I might. I think I might. Because Kled can be really, really annoying unless I go all on on him. But then it's a Lee Sin that can camp for me. Oh, this is difficult, man. Ooh, what am I going to do? Uh, what I can do, though, in my runes is go full... Yeah, I'm going to go full cooldown reduction. Rise should... Wait, I'm confused. Oh, right. So the dodge that just happened in Champion Select, it was the Ziggs player. Obviously, he's like a cheese player or something like that because he's now, I think, going Malzahar bottom lane because he can't play Ziggs. That's really weird. So they don't have an AD carry. All we got to do is get late game uh, because we have an AD carry and they don't. We'll be able to win the late game. I'm going to go teleport instead of the Ignite. So without much further ado, let's get into the loading screen where you break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, my team has a 51.1% chance to win, but let's break it down. We have a Diamond 2 Caitlyn, a Diamond 5 Renekton as myself, Platinum 1 Janna, Diamond 3 Orianna, and a Diamond 3 Rengar. On the enemy team, a Diamond 5 Malzahar bot lane, apparently, a Diamond 5 Lee Sin, a Diamond 5 uh, Rise, a Diamond 3 Thresh, and a Diamond 2 Kled. Um, so yeah, the pick of Malzahar confuses me a little bit. I, I think this was the player that wanted to play Ziggs before the, the, the champion select dodged, which you guys obviously didn't see. And just because he didn't get Ziggs, he's now playing Maus. It's like, eh, you know, I would actually play an AD carry if you don't get, you know, your actual AD or Ziggs. Uh, but maybe, who knows, maybe Maus has a really OP bot laner. I doubt it because the whole point of playing Ziggs in the bot lane is tower pressure. And Maus has some tower pressure, but not like when it's a 2v2, I wouldn't think. Um, unfortunately though, we do have a Janna that can't punish that pick amazingly well. If it was like a Blitzcrank or something that could hook him, then obviously that would be great. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. I'm against a Kled. I don't think I've played this matchup before. I might have once. Uh, but without much further ado, let's get into the game and have a go. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we are in Diamond promo once again. Obviously, we're already Diamond 5, but this is either to go to Diamond 4 or potentially to Diamond 3 if we can skip divisions. I doubt we're going to skip, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is to Diamond 4. 
Um, but as for team comp wise, I'm confident if we don't feed. And what I mean by that is if our early game isn't terrible and every lane is just doing okay, I think we've got this game in the bag. And yes, their late game is scary with a Malzahar, Rise, Kled. It's scary, but we have an AD carry. Like there's a reason that AD carries are in the game and have been for the last five years is because they just bombard you with damage in the, in the late game. They are the highest DPS in the late game. Um, so yeah, all we got to do is get to late game. That's it. Because I can protect. Janna can protect a Caitlyn. We've got an Orianna that can protect. We have a great team that can build around this Caitlyn. Just hopefully she does quite well. Uh, yeah, I would probably presume he's either going to camp bot or top. If he ganks, if he camps top and having a fed Kled, that's obviously going to be really hard to deal with. But if he, if he camps bot lane because it's weird, then that's also something that he can do. Um quite efficiently to be honest uh build wise for me i'm gonna go standard you know black cleaver rush and then probably just pure tank i don't think i need to build damage this game i just need to be annoying and i think that's going to be the key of me doing well in this matchup further on the cled so i do have to be careful because further tells me he does want to fight uh, although i don't know what other mastery he would go okay they're starting on red, you can tell that by the bot lane is already in the lane and Kled is not in top lane yet. Ipso facto, they're starting on the red. And there he is. Presume he started Q. Um, again, Lee Sin loves to level 2 gank nowadays or even level 3 gank. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Lee Sin went over to this blue. So what I'm going to do is just throw a ward here. It's really like risky me doing that because I don't have a ward now for my lane. But he's more likely to go for the Rengar than me, I would think. I think. <laughs> I'm not taking my level 2 spell, but just in case. If he, the Kled goes all in, then going the W for the shield is better. Like that, I get his skull straight away. But if Lee Sin were to come, then obviously I would probably would have wanted the uh, the mobility to escape. Nice. I think I did that the right way round to get the most damage. Ah. The hell was that? How quick could I kill that guy? It depends if he could get Skull back. That's the thing. Rengar. Okay, if, if we get him to go on me in a second. If he gets him back. <laughs> I re I want him to get Skull back right now because he won't go on me otherwise. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we can dive him, not with Skull. Okay, he might do it now. This should be a kill. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we both had to use flash for it, but I think it's worth it. We want, again, the biggest thing we want to do is just not get behind in the early game. So if we actually get ahead in the early game, it's pretty much free. These guys are not paying attention whatsoever right now, so that's kind of bad. Um, but that's good. That's really good. Uh, I always have to keep remembering that build changed. I'm going to go for Phage first. And I think he used teleport. He had to use teleport to get back to lane that quickly. I'm going to use teleport as well after getting one health potion. It's not the most efficient thing to do, but whatever. Don't want him to hit his all his W. That's that's where his damage lies. Is a cled is his W. Everything like how he burst people. All that is literally that spell. So if you avoid that spell, you're doing... Well, you're basically going to beat a Kled. People have wondered as well, why hasn't he made it? Lol. Um, why hasn't he made it like to big time slot as a top laner? I think he's a little bit too unpredictable with how well he's going to do. Renekton, again, you're always going to be useful. Even if you feed, which I've done in this series in Climb to Master, I still have been useful in being a tank and stuff, being annoying. I just don't feel Kled has that same, you know. Oh.
Oh. <laughs> okay, that was close. That was that's really good, by the way. Again, just to remind you, whenever there's a solo kill involved, whoa, that's aggression. That's really aggression. Holy moly, they really want that kill. Um, whenever a solo kill happens, the person who dies has made a massive mistake, and obviously that was very close, so you can't beat up the cled too much about that. But still. Um, I do have the funny feeling, I don't know why, I get, if you guys have been keeping an eye on the minimap, this Rise very much wants to roam a lot, and I mean a lot. We've already seen him in the early game want to run this way, and now we've seen him flash crazy aggression roaming, that right now, it, you know, it's done okay for him, but right, this Oriana roam, if this doesn't do anything, then this is just a waste of time, and Oriana could still be building a lead in getting farm, but now she's actually behind in farm, and now down an assist. But if they get a kill here... If the Orianna gets it, oh, Mal's flash and heal. Orianna did not. Okay, she did. She got him, which is good. But then got killed for it. Not really worth it, because you don't know where Rise is now. But Rengar is now level six. I'm just stopping that guy because you never know. I know he doesn't have teleport up, but still. I don't want him to have an option to go help his team. If he stays, I think I can dive him. I don't exactly know where Rise is, though, which is the problem. Because Rise could come top lane. I Okay, he is basing. Okay, cool. Don't think he's teleport, so I want to push it in. And if he does have teleport, it's worth me pushing it in to get the teleport out. See, top lane... I love top lane. It's, it's one of my favorite lanes in the game, even though it's known as one of the most boring, because it's very strategic in like, okay, now he's gone back and then push, or do I use my teleport to roam, or do I take teleport, or do I go ignite? Like, there's so much into the lane that it's really cool. Like, I really like it, enjoy that part to it. Um, and people, I've seen some good people in the comments recently say, you know, I do occasionally mention competitive play, and if they're relatively new to the channel, they won't know anything about it. I used to play competitive, nothing crazy, nothing major. Um, just tournaments, online tournaments, a couple, like, lands here and there. And I, I did win my fair few. Um, and the two roles that I kind of played competitive uh, level two was top and jungle. I didn't really play competitive mid, um, but it was my favorite role. And... Uh, Generally, the, my top lane playstyle was carry. Like, I was not a tank top laner at all. Um, like, there was at one stage in the meta when it was competitive. Um, are they doing that? I don't know if that should... Well, uh, Rise is Oom. Okay, that's, that's not good. Giving them the free Infernal like that. Um, but yeah, there was uh, one meta that Malphite was stupidly really strong. And I basically said to my team, I'm not playing Malphite, you know. He's too boring. Um, should be okay, the Yoriana. She's got ult. Oh, that Ryze just got outplayed. And Rengar. Okay, that's perfect. Obviously, yeah, we don't want to give them the Infernal, but... Meh. No, what? Am I oh, wait, what? Too many people are dying in this game. Yeah. I might have been able to continue to go for the kill, but it was risky. I don't know where Rise was or anything. Uh, I was going to wait in here. If Rise like, walks up, then maybe I can jump on him, but... I want to go back and buy. Um, but yeah, Caitlyn dying like that, not good. Uh, because what generally should happen in that lane, not surprisingly, is the... Let's buy one of them. Um, the Janna should always be able to stop the Malzahar ult, generally. So that should happen. Uh, but the later this game goes on, I don't think the Malzahar will be able to do anything, especially to my Caitlyn. The Malzahar most likely will shift his aggression to the Rengar. When a Rengar jumps in for a team fight, boom, Malzahar ult. That's what I'd predict would happen. Um, it makes the most sense, but yeah. He'll probably get that knight, whatever it's called, that knight item that you can get like a Banshee's Veil active. If he times it well, then yeah. Careful, Cled Alt Rome. 
So Clyde can't do anything to me in the 1v1 right now, and I think he knows it. So, ooh. They most likely are just going to be looking for roams, like, all the time. Boom! Good play. Lee's going a little bit too aggro. So we got Kled back here. This is what I want. I don't want him to be roaming or anything like that. Oh, that was weird. I, like, got frozen or something there. Maybe I'll roam. Or maybe, like, I have the appearance that I'm roaming so he runs into me. I don't know if I can kill him if he runs into me, though. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I can't kill him. He's got too much mobility and escape. It's really annoying. But getting him out... Ooh. Getting him, like, low health is also pretty good. Yeah. Tank it a little bit. Got his flash. Perfect. This Kled is not having a great game. <laughs> no, bot lane died again. So bot lane is struggling a little bit. Obviously, when you're in a bit of a weird, obscure matchup and then you know, high, it can throw you off a bit and you might not have a perfect game. Um, but yeah, we'll be fine. It, me and Rengar being as fed as both of us are, we'll be able to deal with them, to be honest. Like, if I jump on the Malzahar, I'll kill him really easily. Okay, I've got Black Cleaver now. Definitely want Mercury Treads this game, just to point out, because of how much CC they have. They've got, they've got a Rise, they've got Malzahar, they've got a Thresh. Like, every single one of them have a, a form of CC, even Kled with his Q. Ah, oh, they can kill him. Orianna ult. And boom! Whoa! That did more damage than I expected. Okay, Rengar, I want you to ult. If he stays. He didn't stay. Feels bad, man. Okay, the next dragon is Infernal. So we can get the next one, definitely. And we can make up for not having the first one. Ooh. I'm going to stay mid lane, actually. Go for me. They can probably poke down that tower. I'm actually half tempted to... Yeah, they got it. Alright. So tempted to even TP. Kled's half health already. Really close to get that kill. I'm just waiting in here just to jump. Ooh. Neeson got that. He should get killed for it, though. Hello! If, if he comes in range, I'm gonna... Mm. We've got Orianna ult. Yeah, we can't do anything. I don't want top lane to go. I don't want to go on them. Uh, okay. Again, they don't have an AD carry, so just build MR. <clears throat> I'm TPing in, everybody. It was mainly to for the dragon, but yeah. Hey, Lee. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was painful. I don't want to say that was intentional. I didn't intentionally bait it, but it just worked out in our favor, like, amazingly well. Nice. <laughs> that was so good by Oriana. Holy moly. Holy Ori. Oh, that's hilarious. So my build, by the way, I'm going to say, if I was this Kled, I would feel a little bit disrespected. And again, it, I don't mean it to like whatever's, but it's, 
I'm building MR as my second item versus a Kled. That's not going to make him feel good. Like, as a Kled, you want people to build armor against you because you want to be like, I, I can kill them, right? And I'm not even building armor against him because I don't really care about him. So, that, and I know some people say, why are you even mentioning it? Trust me, I've known people that that can tilt them. And I know some people say, really? Yep. If people are disrespecting people in their item build, like, in, he's not building armor against me and I'm an AD person, trust me, it gets people like crazy. It's a really weird thing, I know, but... Hey, Lou. Uh, it, it exists. I thought I heard him. I was like, I'm not going to go on the Kled because I swear I hear Lee Sin right now. <laughs> there we go. You are too good. You are good too, Ori. Don't be jealous. <laughs> the Honestly, it was the Oriana that made the play happen. Like, I got hooked. Then they bunched up. Yes, the, then the Oriana ult came down. Then I jumped on them. Like, it was the Oriana ult that made the play. And it was just me having enough confidence just to jump on top of them, to be honest. Which, yeah, obviously I'm going to have right now. I'm I'm pretty far ahead. I'm two levels up in my solo opponent. Could actually change my build a bit now that I'm really far ahead. Again, I did say earlier, oh, I can just go tank. But when you're this far ahead, you might want to... Ooh, he went away. Damn, I didn't get him, though. Me flashing back into the tower. Yeah, I'm playing quite confident right now. And I love playing confident because it feels good. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I could change my build because I know I said I wanted to be a tank. But I'm 6-0 right now. I could go Hydra because of just how farmed I am and how fed I am. They wouldn't be able to stop me. Because you, you do have to make an argument. A champion like Renekton, yeah, the tankier I get, the more annoying I am. But then also the more damage that I do, the more annoying I am. Because I'll heal more and then they can't even kill me in the first place. This is awkward. I'm not 6-0 anymore, everybody. I don't mind dying for that as long as we don't all die because we got a base tower. It's, it's worth it at this stage of the game. Okay, Lucian Flash. Um, Yeah, it, it's worth it right now. Um, Do I... Okay, I'm going to change... I'm not going to go Titanic yet. Or not going to go Hydra yet. If I continue to get really fed, then sure, I might. But I'm going to get some armor because just to have it a little bit. But I got the, the Spirit of Visage, which I really wanted early. That's really nice to have. They don't have Malzorar ult, and he went for that play. Weird. Oh, no. Team, don't throw. Good. Whew. I'm expecting a rise. There he is. I was like, where's the rise? There he is. We are playing very sloppy, just to mention. Like, we, we, these kills and deaths shouldn't happen. But... Whatever. Oh, he is really fed. I was like, he's not that fed, right? No, he actually is. Okay. We did do quite well against the top. Oh, top laner. Do I want to take this or do I want to bait this? The questions of life. I'm going to take it. But I'm not going to use any abilities on it. We're literally just going to take it by auto-attacking it. Why? Just in case they walk in. Maybe I'll use one ability <laughs> to secure it. Because right now this is uh, slow motion. Oh, I'm taking it with an ability. Screw it. We did it. I cheated. I'm doing it again. I don't know where the enemy team are. Like all of them. Weird. Um, what I'm kind of hoping is if these guys push up here, then someone will come in like here and I can just rotate over and kill people. They might be doing Rift Herald, you know. Okay, there's people there. What? So there, Lee was down here. I was wondering where he was. Come here, rise. No. There we go. Caitlyn's bot lane. Yeah, I think we just won the gate. Okay. 
They might surrender, but I guess we can do the Baron. So this should be the first victory in the promo. Again, just to remind you, in promotion series, and there's the, there's the surrender, so that's a nice win. Um, we're in promotion series, most likely to Diamond 4, but there's a very slim chance we can get to Diamond 3 if the MMR is high enough, especially if we win the next game. If we win the next game, then there's a better chance. If we lose the next game and then win the next game, then I doubt we're going to get the, the skip. Uh, but that's good. I, I am feeling really, like, Whoa, that's happened. This client is a still a little bit buggy. Um, so we just got a Mastery 6 token. Cool. Yeah, more great. Um, so we got an S. We went 616, farm. We did quite well, honestly. And then damage done. How much damage you do? Uh, so the Rengar did the most. I think that's not surprising considering what he just did to that rise. He literally just one-shot 100% health rise. Um, then the Orianna. Again, not surprising. That ultimate. That would have been a lot of damage. And then me in third place. Enemy team, the Leeson did the most. Then the Malzahar. Then the Rise. And then the Kled. So it was a good matchup. Like, again, the matchup of Renekton and Kled is 50-50. And I think we just played it well. Again, you, these win rates that I do mention, don't don't take them as, like, that's 100% it. Like, oh, I've got a negative win rate on champion.gg. I'm never going to win. They're not like that. You know, just play as your best. And this was a 50-50. And we just stomped. Um, so yeah, it was a fun game. So I'm going to play the next promo probably in the next five, ten minutes, have a little break and then just keep recording. Because when I'm playing well, I want to keep recording. I want to keep going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, throw a like on it. Remember, we've got the Steel Series giveaway happening. Link down below. Uh, the winners of last month, you will be contacted uh, through email or Twitter, whatever way you won. You'll be contacted that way and I'll be asking for your information to send out whatever you win. Um, so yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.